a 24-year-old by the name of Jonathan, Jonathan Denver uh, was murdered by Giants fans in San Francisco. He was a Dodgers fan. Um, an altercation uh, ensued, and as a result of that, he was stabbed to death. A 21-year-old Michael M Montgomery is in custody right now. Authorities are looking for two other suspects in this case. But again, I mean, it reminds me of a case in Los Angeles back in 2011 where Dodgers fans uh, severely beat up this uh, Giants fan. And he suffered permanent ba brain damage as a result of that. So I don't really know what it is, especially about baseball. I mean, do people get that passionate about baseball where they feel the need to literally murder someone who is supporting the opposing team? No. I mean, it just coincidentally happened at the Dodgers game. And there's a, you know, it, and there's some parks around the country where there is a very small, ugly element. It happens sometimes at Dodger games. Apparently it happens at Giant games, although we have no idea. I don't know. Did that guy even go to the game? It, yeah, it, he was at yes. the game with his father. No, no, so I no, meant, no the, the, the guy the, who got uh, killed was at the game. Yeah, I meant but the, it appears, and we don't know for sure, that's why mm -hmm. Ben couched it that way, that, he was, that the guy who did the killing was not at the game. Uh, that based on the reporting so far, they caught one of the guys. The two of the guys got away so far, right? Mm -hmm. They just ran, and they haven't gotten him uh, yet. And it appears that they were not originally at the game. The altercation happened after the Dodger fan left the game, and they were shouting at one another because they're wearing Dodger paraphernalia and, and, and Giants paraphernalia. And then they do a little pushing around first, and then they separate. And then they happen to see each other again. They get re into the fight, and then he gets stabbed. And look, you know, it's of course nothing to do with baseball. I mean, it's amazing that anyone has a heartbeat watching baseball. But no, but that's what okay. I'm saying. That's what right. I'm saying. I mean, baseball uh, sorry, seems like a very <laughs> calm sport, especially compared to like basketball. I, know, I mean, I've been to a basketball game where you know I was in support of whatever teams, whatever was playing against uh, the Lakers, because at the time I was dating someone that didn't like the Lakers, so I was like, whatever, I'll go with him. Yeah. Um, and Lakers but fans go crazy, and and you think that it's going to get violent. So I can understand some sort of altercation there. I can't imagine. That at a baseball game. No. Yeah, I know. You've long been a fan of the whatevers. It's, it's <laughs> well documented. Uh, but look, you know, here in America, we think like soccer. Come on, right? Soccer. Are you kidding me, right? But in fact, of course, mm -hmm. uh, as the world calls it football, the football hooligans. Yeah, they like uh, kill like, thousands of people every year. Yeah, they're <laughs> the most violent, vicious yeah. uh, fans in the history of mankind, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, of course, people get worked up. But the bottom line is, it isn't about the sport or it isn't about the team. It's that adults should not get into fights. Because right. you could get killed. Right. Or, or you can kill somebody. Because once you start a fight and you're an adult, you don't know where it ends. Yeah. They were I not kids anymore. I was at a Cubs game one time, and there was a fight broke out a couple rows behind me. And I would have jumped in, but I could not wake up. I could <laughs> not get out. Oh, I was, I was having such a good sleep. Uh, <laughs> you guys can make fun of what is undoubtedly, it's not even close anymore. The worst it fucking sport in the world. It is the best game ever freaking invented. <laughs> And, and uh, what I like about it is that you could be 400 pounds out of shape and a smoker and be at the top of your profession. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like. That is a sport. That is a sport. You know, I'm, uh, I'm like having trouble watching football. Like, You're nuts. Wow. The, worst, starting to, the NFL is starting to bore the living shit out of me because here's what happens in the NFL. All you do is assemble and reassemble every 30 seconds. Have mm -hmm. a little conversation. Mm -hmm. what, are you, what are you with? Mm -hmm. And then uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I'm really loving this right now. I guess you do that. I don't okay. know, really, whatever. It seems like, so do that. But, All right. All right. Great. We'll do that. <laughs> right. And then they run uh, one play. Right. And then a guy gets a concussion. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. And they come on. And then you get to see. It's thrilling to watch medical professionals run out onto a grass field, right? Okay, Which is okay. basically the game. And then they'll run another play. You're like, oh my God, they scored a touchdown. And then four guys who work at Foot Locker sit around and decide whether See? he actually scored a touchdown for the next two and a half minutes. Like most things in life, Ben, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. <laughs> so what you, the way he just said it, you could say it another way. So they get around, they talk for a little bit, and then they assemble, and then they run full speed at each other until someone gets a fucking concussion, and then they reassemble again. And then they run full speed at each other and and then they realize that. That's how I would say. It. <laughs> right. Well, you can say well, it that way. Right. right. Whereas in baseball, okay, timeout. <laughs> I gotta rearrange the gloves. I gotta do this. I was this, running to first that, base I and I got a hamstring. <laughs> I have a hammy. You can't believe it. There's gonna be a bruise. There's gonna be a bruise. <laughs>